Hello students once again welcome to Bhulanath Academy in this video students we are going to see the examples of pseudo halogens in last video we have already saw the pseudo what are the pseudo halogens and their properties now in this video students we are going to see the first examples of pseudo halogen that is called as cyanogen formula is cn twice or you can also write c2n2 this compound is discovered by gay lussac in 1815 how we are going to prepare the students cyanogen so first preparation students it is obtained by heating strongly the silver cyanide or mercuric cyanide here we have taken silver cyanide and mercuric cyanide when you heat students here it is a symbol you will get what cyanogen you are getting here also you are getting what cyan so when you heat silver cyanide students you are getting silver plus cyanogen this is what cyanogen you are getting cyanogens when you heat students mercuric cyanide when you heat mercury cyanide what happens students you will get mercury cyanide plus you are getting cyanogen because we are interested in preparation of cyanogen so this way you can prepare the cyanogens understand students very simple preparations now we are going to see second method that is called as it can be prepared by reacting warm solution of copper sulfate with concentration solution of potassium cyanide if you have potassium cyanide students when you add copper sulfate what happens students it will form potassium sulfate and copper cyanide understanding students what happens students once you got copper cyanide this way deca on decomposition when you heat students on decomposition students you will get copper cyanide and you are getting cyanogen understanding so this is our compound understanding this way you can prepare the cyanogen now third preparation students if you want to prepare cyanogen is prepared by heating ammonium oxalate with phosphorus pentoxide so this is the ammonium oxalate students in presence of phosphorus pentoxide students when you heat it will eliminate the water molecules it will convert into the oxamide this is the now it is a what amide now what happens students when you further heat this compound there is a removal of two water molecules and you are getting what your compound that is called as what cyanogen understanding this is the third preparation students very very important preparation now students we are going once you prepare the compound students what will be the structure of the compound students now you know the formula is c2n2 and its vapor density is what 26 yes or no students the vapor density when you see cyanogen is what 26 formation of ethylene diamine formation of what ethylene diamine that is this is the ethylene and it is what diamine the formation of ethylene diamine on reaction form oxanide this is the organ during the hydrolysis atoms in cyanogen molecule is linear and symmetrical from this you can say the cyanogen molecules are what linear the thus the structure of cyanogen is what like this students carbon carbon single bond carbon nitrogen triple bond understanding when you see the carbon carbon bond length students 1.37 armstrong and nitrogen carbon bond is what 1.64 understanding students so this way you can i have explained the structure of the compound of the cyanogen carbon carbon bond length is 1.137 armstrong and carbon nitrogen bond length is what 1.64 armstrong this suggests that carbon carbon bond is not a single bond understanding students carbon carbon bond is not a single bond. the structure of cyanogen is resonance hybrid of the following structures understanding students you cannot say carbon carbon bond is what single bond now if you because it is having what resonance that is why this compound is what stable understanding students how the resonance is taking place students so this way this bond bond will transport the carbon carbon bond and it will form a carbon carbon double bond understanding when it is losing electrons the this nitrogen will carry positive charge and this nitrogen is now having more than one electrons understanding what happens students once it is transfers this electron will also transport to here and it is forming the negative bond so understanding students sometimes this nitrogen will have negative charge the nitrogen will have what positive this way the resonance structure is having understanding students now we are going to see the properties students once you go prepared the cyanogen students what properties it has it is a poisonous students cyanogen is always poisonous colorless gas it is a always present in gas state at room temperature it polymerize at higher temperature and form para cyanogen understanding this is the para cyanogen students so cyanogen when you heat at 500 degree students it is forming the intermediate that is called uh, after hitting 800 degrees celsius students it will form the para cyanogen understanding students it burns it in air cyanogen students when you heat in presence of oxygen what happens it will form carbon dioxide and you are getting what nitrogen gas understanding students carbon dioxide gas as well as what nitrogen gas now students 
when it is dissolved in water students cyanogen when it is dissolved in water it undergoes hydrolysis and finally form ammonium oxalate this is the ammonium oxalate students so you have cyanogen when you add in water hydrolysis will take place it will form hydrogen cyanide and cyanic acid now what happens students this cyanogen when you heat combines with four water molecules it will form what ammonium oxalate it decompose the alkali what happens students once you have cyanogen when you add in NaOH it forms the cyanide and cyanate understanding students here sodium cyanate you will get and there is a water molecule so students what happens when you add sodium hydroxide to cyanogen there is a formation of sodium cyanide and you are getting sodium cyanate because of oxygen we can say cyanate it is because of oxygen so sodium cyanate and you sodium cyanide you are getting so these are the very important reaction of cyanogen students it react with the alkali may form the cyanide now what happens students cyanogen react with potassium it is form potassium cyanide now students we are going to see the uses what are the uses once you prepare you know the property now what are the uses of cyanogen students first it is used in organic synthesis so many organic compound you can prepare with the help of this cyanogen it is used as a poisonous gas in wars during the war time you can use as a poisonous gas to defeat our enemy understanding students so these are very very important compound students cyanogen if you like my video please share it subscribe it thank you thank you very much have a nice day god bless you